you know, a match that so many people could not wait for. They were chomping at the neck, oh, chomping at the bit <laughs> to see Abaddon versus Sheeta. This was a, a, a from the moment that that kendo stick shot from Sheeta, you knew these two girls were going to bring the thunder at each other, man. These they that match started off. And it had my eyes bulging out of my head. That that kendo stick shot had that was one of those where I was like, whoo, wow, jumping off the couch. Um, what a impactful shot. Had to that had to resonate around the arena, huh? That echoed so bad. Oh my gosh. And I know Abaddon has taken one to the head like that before, but that was just just hearing that and seeing that live, it was just Oh. a direct hit to the top of her head it was insane you know i like i like the pace of how it started off like they the attack before the bell i mean i even just it's, man evidon is just so creepy i mean we know time and time again she's just such a a bizarre creepy person but the way that the match it started the tone right away yeah it set it the set tone the right, right away, away right? but unfortunately yeah, like, for me after that it kind of it was a very slow match to watch live you know it was a slow, methodical, creepy match to watch live. Um, you know, there was a lot of out of the ring stuff and it was kind of hard to follow. And then when they went under the ring, um, so it was just interesting to watch live. I thought, uh, you know, Abaddon was kind of, uh, did pretty well in the ring. You know, this is probably the best we've seen her in the ring, but it was just, to me, live, it just like, I, I can't emphasize how, how slow it was, you know? Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, Sheeta gets, uh, some great, great high points, you know, the suplex off the top rope and she starts looking strong, but then, you know, to keep the flow of the match, it just was, it's an abrupt ending. You know, I was just like, okay, you know, there's, they're going back and forth a little bit and then boom, all of a sudden, yes, she does, or uh, Abaddon's down, but then boom, there's the finisher. And so I didn't think there was many, there should have been for being a championship match with, in such a big build, there should have been a lot more false finishes. There should have been a lot more, um, you know, for Sheeta, you know, thinking that she's going to lose the belt more. Um, to me, I didn't really Especially gain that. Especially given that I think yeah. that, yeah, I think that this was the first time we talked about it before, right? This was the first time in which Sheeta has really been put in a position where I feel like she she was rattled, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it was obvious that Abaddon was in her head, um, you know. The, who couldn't who could blame Sheeta for being thrown off her game after what Abaddon's done I mean obviously Abaddon is incredibly creepy um and the bite that that happened this is the second time she's gone after her neck mm -hmm. um so you know to uh, it would be understandable for Sheeta to maybe get thrown off a little bit and and to play into like you just talked about give more false finishes make it seem like she's you know, she's allow her to be that underdog a little bit more because we don't, we haven't really seen Sheeta in that underdog role. I mean, she's really been presented as an equal in almost all of her matches. And really, I mean, right. like, I, even going against Nyla Rose, it was never presented as a way which she was like afraid or intimidated. And I thought this was, this was an opportunity where they, they missed it a little bit. Um, Abaddon's, Abaddon's draw is her mystique, her, her eeriness, her creepiness, yeah. however you want to describe it. It's her persona. Um, and, and so if you don't, if you don't highlight and emphasize how that has gotten into the, her competitor's head, it loses some of, wow, that's an awesome. That's an awesome picture. Um, it loses some of its, its impact because at the end of the day, it, then it just strips it down to the, the, a regular match. So I felt like they missed the mark a little on that. Yeah. I will say that that picture you just brought up, really great job by the AEW team for yeah, showcasing that's creepy, man. bite marks. Yeah, the bite marks. And again, this could have this could have been very hokey and corny. Um, mm -hmm. I thought they did a nice job again, pulling her under the ring, having it happen out of sight where yep. you don't have you don't have to worry about if it's going to go off well or not. Um, it played out well. It didn't really necessarily play into the outcome of the match, though. I was, I was, I was expecting there to be more of a challenge for Sheeta um, overcoming this beast of Abaddon. That's exactly what I wanted more out of. Yeah, more of the storytelling out of this. You know, there's been a long build for this, um, and you know, unfortunately, this is my only delete of the of the night. 
just because of the the lack of storytelling, the lack of um, edge of the seat excitement, you know, um, maybe it was portrayed a little bit different on TV, but live, it was just very slow paced, which is fine to me. But as long as you're telling the stories, you know, and um, I'm sorry, but it, it didn't deliver the way we expected it to deliver because there was so much more potential for this feud, so much more potential for both stars to make each other look strong and uplift each other. I, I don't think they they really maximized their opportunity with this match. You got me thinking a lot here, man. I mean, I I feel like it's it's hard because this match happens right after Cody and Matt Seidel. Like, I mean, the pacing of that match was intentionally quick, rapid, high energy, um, and, and it fit more into their those character styles. So. The pacing of the match is not necessarily my problem with this one. I, I understand they're going to be a little bit more, especially with a character like Abaddon. She is going to be more methodical. She is going to mm-hmm. be a little bit. She's going to. That's that's part of her mystique and her aura is no different than the, the the Undertaker or Kane, right? It's just like you have those characters that Jason Voorhees, you know, that where it's just like he's scarier because he's slow but always keeps coming back. Right. And I felt like. You know, I was expecting this one to be a little bit more slow paced. Um, so that wasn't what str- I struggled with. I, I think for me, I struggled with Abaddon. Abaddon had spent so much time over, like you talked about, this was one, I mean, AW put a lot of investment into this feud. Mm-hmm. And I just don't, I don't think that they played off of, the, the fear or the uh, intimidation f- the factor that Abaddon has worked so hard to build. Mm-hmm. Um, you right. could have, other than, other than the bite spot, you could have subbed Abaddon out for really any competitor and you wouldn't have really noticed a difference when it comes to the storytelling of this match. Yeah. So that's a good point. I, I struggled with that and I was expecting there to be more. Um, that said, um, I'm curious to where this is going to go. I'm going to give this a soft elite for me only because um, quite honestly, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't want or expect to see Abaddon dethrone Sheeta. Um, right. I was, ex- I know that there was a, a groundswell of support uh, online for Abaddon. And, and I think that she has potential. She has, uh, there's something about Abaddon mm-hmm. that's unique. For um, sure. I think that she needs a little bit more work work um when it comes to her yeah but i think that she could she, she could definitely like you talked about spd she need if she's going to to do a slower paced match if that's going to be part of her persona she needs to integrate more impactful offense in her in her repertoire um but i, I i'm going to give it a soft elite because mm-hmm. i want to see i want to see Sheeta as the champion going up against Britt Baker or, or Thunder Rosa. My, I, for me, you and I have talked about the feud, the, the women's feud of the year. Oh yeah, for sure. The, the, it's going to be Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa. Um, and, and that's a, that's a feud that has us excited and ready to go. So Thunder, Thunder or Britt Baker challenging Sheeta is where I want to see this go. And I, I wouldn't want either one of them to win the championship off of anybody but Sheeta. Sheeta's been such a fighting champion. She's established herself in a way that I have so much respect for what she's done in the ring. Um, and I think that she's, Sheeta serves as a better platform. And we talk about this a lot, right? The Young Bucks are such a great platform for other performers in tag wrestling. Um, Cody has done that in, in, for, with his run. I think that she does serve such a great platform for other performers um, with her with her offense and her striking ability. I, I think it's going to be a natural move uh, into the, the right direction going forward. So I, I would like to see Abaddon involved in another feud down the road um, and utilizing her character abilities, but uh, I'll give it a soft elite.